Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about Python list data type. We have an another data type, Python tuple. The difference between Python list and Python tuple is only one thing. List are mutable and tuples are immutable. Other than that, almost 90% of its features are same. So if you have understood this topic, then Python tuple is like a cakewalk. What is list? It is the collection of elements which is stored in a single variable. In Python, we will create list using squared enclosed bracket. Here you can see an example. Under a single variable, we can store multiple values and each value is separated by comma. In addition to that, whenever we save it like a sequence, it will start with an index. First one will be 0, second one will be 1 and so on. Let's see how to do this practically. First, how to create an empty list. List 1 equal to, this is a variable name and it is enclosed with square bracket. If you run it, now the list is created but it's empty. Let's learn how to create a list with integers value a list to within the square bracket 10 20 30 40 50 we have created a variable list inside that multiple values are given and each value is separated by comma the values are displayed in third example we will see the list of string list 3 equal to within the square bracket you have to give the string value either with single or double quote python comma java comma c I just mentioning the programming language and then printing it we created a list which contains the string value in other programming language this concept is similar to array the array will contain multiple values of same data type but in python using list we can save multiple values of different data type that's the best thing about python list for equal to within the square bracket integer floating point string all three values belongs to different data type printed list is created we can also create list of list list of list means a list contains multiple list let me show with an example list 5 equal to within the square bracket you have an another list 15 comma 25 then in another list python under data science this is two list inside the main list run it you can see the output then in the list 4 you can include list also just run it let me summarize it first we have created empty list then the list with integer values then the list with string and fourth the list contains all the different data types which includes another list and a fifth example we can create multiple list within a main list hope you got an idea how to create the list only thing you have to remember is list is created inside the enclosed square bracket the next concept is list indexing and slicing we have already discussed about this in the string data type the same logic we will learn it once again here let's see with an example list 2 contains 5 values list indexing always starts from 0 the first value 10 belongs to index 0 then the second value 20 belongs to index 1 and so on and the last value 50 belongs to index 4 this is the normal index method which goes from the left to right direction and we have another method called a negative indexing here the index starts from minus 1 and the direction will go from right to left so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 when you want to access a value inside a list you can use any way either a normal way or a negative index and accessing an individual element is called indexing and if you want to access a range of characters is called slicing we'll see both the things with practical implementation we have created a list of integers now i want to access a particular value print list 2 within the square bracket you have to mention the index 
if I want to access 30, can you guess what will be the index value we have to give? 0, 1, 2. When you mention 2 and run it, we can access the value 30. The next one is print last element using negative index. Print list 2. Here, if I want to access 40, what will be the index value? Minus 2. So if you mention minus 2 and run it, we got the output 40. This is how we have to access the each value using index mechanism. And the next concept is slicing. Slicing means from one range to another range. In this example, from index 1 to index 3, print list 2 within the square bracket. You have to mention the colon, you know very well, we have seen this in the string from index 1 to index 3. What will be the output? You know very well the last index value it won't take, so the output will be 20 and 30. Just run it, we got the proper input. In addition to that, we can mention slicing in multiple ways as per your requirement. When you mention colon, it means it will take full list from starting till end. If the left value is given index 1 and the right value is empty means from index 1 it will take all the value till the end. Similarly, if the left value is empty and the right value is 3 then the output will be from the starting till the third position. Let's execute and see the output. You got the output as we discussed. This is how we have to access using indexing and slicing. The next topic is updating the list it is a very important interview question list are mutable it means values stored inside a variable can be changed but in python numbers string and tuples are immutable that is we can't change the values now we'll see how to update the values we created a list 3 contains three values python java and c print it this is a value before updating the item now I want to replace the language C by R. R is an another programming language which is used for machine learning. How to do that? List 3. Within this square bracket we have to mention the index of that value. We want to replace this C by R and the index value was 0, 1, 2. So the list 2 just replace it with the value R. We will print list after updating the item and see the values are changed this is called mutable if we do the same example with other data types you will get the error the next one is delete the list element to do that we can use the del keyword like other data types once again same example list is created with three string values first way is to delete the item based on index position del keyword list 3 in that I want to delete C and the index value is 2. After that we will print and see whether the value is deleted or not. I am just running it. The value is deleted. This is based on the index position to delete a particular item. In addition to that like other data type we can delete full list also. Very easy one. Del. You have to mention the variable. Print and see. The value is deleted when you try to print it you'll get the error name error like list 3 is not defined it means the full value is deleted the next one is transversing it using for loop that is loop through a list we have already seen this in for loop once again we will see it we have a list variable name month contains all 12 months i want to print this one by one using for loop for element it can be any variable name you know that in month the list name colon enter print element what it will do for each element it will keep on iterate one by value just run it all the 12 values are displayed the next topic is list methods we will see that in the next video thanks for watching happy learning